good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back. Interesting thing is, you can see how long your camp. Uh, I was going to say you can see how long your campaign is going if you're safe, but you can see here they've been doing this for this campaign has been running for 62 years in game in the game world. So they've been doing this for 62 years. This fight. Um, it's impressive, if nothing else. Right, we've got to clear out here. Have a look around. Melissa's episodes were nothing new, but they had been getting stronger lately and more numerous. It was only a moment of twitching and press a brief but desperate fight against something inside of herself. But the effect always left her exhausted and unable to focus. Ugh. It's alright, Melise. Just keep it together. She looks Ugh. she looks around. Come on, not now. Enough! She roars. I have struggled inside your heart long enough. I must grudgingly admit your soul roots go deeper than most. They prove hard to pull out. She looks startled. What are you? What do you want? At this moment, what I am is fed up, and what I want is a deal that works for both of us. Give me a place to exist, nothing much, an arm, a leg, an eye perhaps, and I won't bother you anymore. I dare say it could be advantageous for us both. And if I refuse, I, I will not be able to take your soul, but I can make your life very difficult. Well, when you put it that way... She's pretty old by this point, folks, so let's do it. Let's see what we get. The entitlement of the idea was just a second was enough. And the sudden, like, a, a force like, like blue storm clouds unfolded and suddenly her gaze felt... Weightier, powerful, shared. The feeling was jarring. Okay, okay. Uh, this isn't so bad. My head feels a lot clearer, at least. She glances around. Oh, crud. How am I going to explain this to the others? I hope Armeliana doesn't run me out of the le yon yon yondering lands over this. Okay, so what did we do to ourselves? Um, shadow arm, shadow. Something has been sleeping inside of her, you know, is now waking up. So can she still use her magic? Because otherwise, I have really just messed myself up badly. I don't think she can. Harvest. Burning arrow. Oh, she can still use and fuse. That's good. So she still has access to all of those abilities. Dread Harvest makes them rakes nearby foes. Blazing Sword. She's like, okay, that's not so bad, I, I think. I don't know anymore, folks. Um... I have no idea. I'm just going to build a shrine to this forest spirit. Um, you two can do it together. Um, who do we need to level up? To actually, to be fair, if we're being honest. Um... No, he needs more training. He needs to go in to do this. We'll do it with these. These two can do it. And you ones can go in because you guys are the ones that still need extra XP. Man, they're slow. Okay. A twisted path takes them up the hills, the high hills, and finally come, they're in the company of local peaks. Breathe that in. Mountain air makes me remember things, does it? No, I mean the fumes wafting over my boots. Oh, well. I was going to talk about something nice, but now I'm just thinking about, uh, why did we start rotting so bad? Why did they start rotting so bad? Don't dr it doesn't dry well after the last rain, I guess. 
For 20 paces, the only sight is the scraping of their stinking feet on rough granite. Look up ahead, the certain time seems like. The way forks, one path leads higher to the top of a, pre of a precarious cliffside, the other path curves downwards under the shadowy the shadow of high rocks. Um, I think I see wreckage down here, maybe salvageable. Take the chasm. No, it looks like a cottage. We go up here so we don't get flanked. See any people? Chimney smoke? They might be out and about. Keep walking. Slender walking here. The path s sticks now to the turnings of the mountain. They clamber and cross along the wind carved rock. Got to admit, even if it sounds sappy, the sights from up here can can move a person. A normal, my normal excellent legs are killing me. Huff. Reminds us, however strong we are, we can always improve. You are the absolute worst. Sit up for a second. They're not likely to enjoy loud mouths. Hello, anyone here? It's a neatly piled cabin, smelling like sweet grass. It's Lacquered, um, no, it's laced logs, look strong, well tended. A distant hawk speaks up, besides the bird and wind, there's only silence. Is there any? Oh. Fancy morning, would you like a pork rust? Pork rust with your tea or or your coffee woman? Griddle cakes are plenty. Aromos of seasonal, um, aromas of sizzling pork over hot oil and floral tea sings his nose. This cabin's walls in case a cosy lived in lair for one. Chairs and root stools around the rose table is space for hungry company. Can always make griddle cakes apparently. They're saying otherwise those saying otherwise are spewing slander, little spews from slander slugs. With no intention of intruding, we have a oh, oh wait, sorry, who are you? We were just passing by for me? Who am I? They call me the Warlock of the Mountain. They look at each other. He throws a sack of flour off his shoulder. But I'm alright with Randwald. Randwald, Ordenless, is what I was born as. I am a mischief maker mostly. I guess my hairdo says that clear enough. Anyway, mischief, not all I make. Famous, I also make wonderful golden brown griddle cakes. For those who soul of my down digging my down digger puzzle the down digger puzzle is about to commence be to commence okay hermit i have a bunch of enemies and a little fake creature okay defeat or foes capture the spirit okay so we can still infuse which is great uh um, Makes an, uh, rakes a nearby foe with both shadow hands. If she kills it, she consumes it. So 10 to 11 damage, but we had to get past armor, which is not great. So, first of all, let's get up here. Guardian. Guardian. She looks cool, though. Silk step. Let's swap weapons first, and then we'll silk step. Kick the door open. Congratulations, folks. We're still fire. They both, well, one of them died a bit, at least. You can shoot the child in the face. Nice amount of damage. Took care of that one. Right, so it's going to be one of these rooms. Right, two more turns. We've got to open the door. Okay. Let's get here. We'll kill this one. G 
So you can move up for an infusion. Do Shrednado on him. Oh, he... He dodged, did he? Okay. Impressive. Impressive indeed. Kill this one. Get here. I do not think we're going to be able to get shot off. Fortunately, he's got a ton of movement. Not that it helped me enough. Curses. Okay. No, ah, they died. So, that's a boon, I suppose. Little crit is not there. Which is not great. So, yeah, little crit is in this room at the back. Um, this is gonna suck. Fusion. So he's gonna get punched, but she so can kill stuff to basically get stuff back up, so... Smack that one in the face. Took a single hit. You got a single turn to find the uh, to find the pocket monster. Okay. I don't know where it is, folks. Um, because it ran in here. No, oh, no, it's it's gone. Okay, that's that was my bad. him over she can knock him already but I'm gonna move here so she gets support punch that one in the face and can we do an infusion Get up there, support. Let's use the claws. I want to try and use Dread Harvest. Okay, so she got that. Everyone already has it, so we'll get the hide. Ronwald, Ronwald Orlinson, Warlock of the Mountain, drops back into his furniture. Ugh. You alright? Oh, sorry, yeah. Wanted to give you a bit of an elon elongated victory thing. You got all of the down diggers. Hmm. Unscathed for the most part, though, aren't you? That feels anticlimactic. Not to crowd, crowd in your, in your weird humour, but what... But what we'd even accomplish? Well, why you earned a sample of one of my famous modern recipes, of course. Are you hungry? Are you? Careful. Choose carefully for my wayward will. My way wayward. Sorry. It, f, sorry. Choose carefully for in my waywardness, in my gross olive-headed way, I've designed that each delicious delivery a deli deli different delight. Right. These are my griddle cakes. They fill you with lasting warmth. Plus four to um, time and take to all party members. 
plus through free speed, my tears, my tea and oats, which packs a lifelong kick in the seat, or would you like would you like last of my pork rust for yourself? Plus two health, Emery only. We'll go with a party speed boost. Retirement age isn't important isn't interesting for me. So we'll go with a party speed boost. Tea and oats. While you you eat mugs of tea and oats. Ron Ward gives a brief account of what he'd ended up on the mountain. Persecuted, robbed, run out of town, of ten town. He retreated to this high home where his eccentricities and frequent mischief would only bother those who blundered into his domain. And at this point, ain't we all fair game? Haunted, haunted, I, was, I always be. My memory is sharp and scattered like a far, f far f sorry, a flung mirror on this very mountainside. Haunted me. And this house and these chairs, stools and treats. Only the coffee. Coffee's normal, I'm afraid to say. Only the earth. Only earthy blue coffee. He goes on for a while yet. You bid the warlock of the mountain goodbye. You take a swift a swift day down by his direction. Mountain air, huh? Clearly, you can get too much. Dealings with the warlock of the mountain don't go unmarked. The locals tell sour stories about the mares of the roses black and their deeds for years afterwards. We get increased speed. Excellent. And some and okay, minus legacy points. Cause you know that's how it is. Um uh, we're gonna secure it to find an item. Let's get it done. Smith. Okay. Spell Fred, we don't need. Damage potency and potency. Okay. I'm going to have to give it to her because she needs to get her potency back up because it dropped. Now, the downside of us not going on quests and stuff is that we lose out on a lot of magical gump. But at the same time... I don't want the Mofagi to get any more tokens than we can really ha allow. Um, kid, not interested. Uh, the ones that really still, the ones that really still need training are these ones. So let's go. Actually, I suppose I can start building the bridge. With the other two. Let's do it. We'll take us 113 days. Just the two of them. Cancel it. We'll begin the assault. I'll tell you how beautiful you are by firelight, but any light is lucky to land on you. And you, darling, no one looks so perfect when all the light is, when all the light is snuffed. It's just quiet for a second. You hear that? Hushed voices and careful footfalls approach down the overgrown path. To Melissa's ears, even those muffled noises look loud. Come forward, strangers. If you're friendly, come forward slowly. Silence, perhaps a minute of it, is all the answer that the emerge, emerges from the thick wall of the brass. Then. Bail, you idiot. But not foolish by this, and I'm standing in ants. Yes, mistress. Um, should I offer myself? Introduce us. We can we can hear you. Ho there. Ho. You look like experienced whatever you are. Bandits, rogues, not holding ho ho hounding for captives, I hope. Why are you someone important, Bushmaster? Well, Oh, move it, you fool. Anything's better than ants up my dress. Sorry, mistress. Here, take my arm. A pair of travellers clamber free of the bra bracken. Their clothing fine, but a tad filthy. Hello, strangers. I am back, servant and apprentice to this prestigious and lovely woman who... Well, perhaps you shouldn't use your real name. That's Mare. He raises an, he raises an eyebrow. Oops, he knows of you. And why wouldn't he? Mare, the dream chanter, poet and peerless singer, impossible to turn away an ear when she's plucking strings, spreading yarns, deploying her famous vowels. Well, you don't seem like a fret. Come sit by the fire, we're not in any kind of bad business. By the fire sounds great. Mistress. Emery. 
Small camp settles an awk a little awkwardly, introducing goes round. Salt liver after Emery can't help himself, he, spend, he bends Mira's ear. Yours was the first performance that actually well moved me in a genuine way. I don't often go for serious poetry, you know, the capital pick and the capital kind, but she sang she sang the Queen of the Seas in Bogfend, I wept. I heard about your rendering of what's since spoken for my own audience of craftspeople, and with a dry eye, they said. Yes, yes, I remember those days. I try not to miss them. Oh, mystery, you don't need to say it. I do, though, just that nothing lasts forever. Bad fever took my lofty registers from me. My volume performed such a physical thing. Most forget that I'm weak nowadays. I lean on him. My student, Burke, that is, mistress. I would love to s love to sow that gift to you again, but it's gone now. Only the memory remains. Why not try a small song, even if it's quiet, even if it's just the shadow of you? We'd like it. Let's try it. Well, I could try. It's been a few years now. Give it a go. Mayor the Dream Chanter pulls the instrument from her case. A hum collects in the throat, then ebbs, then rises again, spilling between pitches and stops. Don't strain yourself, mistress. It's a good night, I think. I might have a few verses in me. The first... First he moves the fingers over the strings of the mandal mandalute, great things of sound, chords and twinkling threads. The melody hangs and wobbles and winds around the ear, it curls into the heart like an old dog returning. My father wrote this for me, it was my first song. Next he begins to sing. I sit inside the wind, the moon looks down on me. The place that I've been all lingers distantly. I hear for you whenever you need me. I hear to see that someday you don't. You find me in the tree if the tree is there to find. Just clambering into the brass, I lift you to the skies. You hear, I'm here for you when you don't want me. I'm here for you in the case someday you do. Her voice is soft as score of as gaze. It yields to the slight sigh, sigh of a breeze, but it persists, tremblingly strong. It's beautiful. Suddenly an unpleasant stick crosses her mouth. She swallows, appears to be fighting a cough, unearthed tears, a star bright in the firelight. Are you? Mistress. But she shakes her head, her fingers repaired, repaired the halted, tu halted tune. Now I lived in smoke, the clouds and cliffs my bed. The wide, rippled water bends around your head. Night comes along like a stray of a song. I ask to take me in, but I'll wait until you are, until you're sleeping. She finishes. She looks around. That, sir, that was my, fa my father's lullaby. Your voice is remarkable. My life, I know, has been blessed. The night before the fight at Dern's Dam passes quietly. They lose a card. I wish they had taken it for this because this is gonna suck. Courage. Damage bonus. Ton of enemies. Let's do it. And they've got the little creature that's gonna run off. Okay. It's not out the doorway yet. We can still get it. So what are we looking at? Bunts of monsters. Okay. If we get here... Can I have to do an infusion? Splinter Blast, Constrict, Wild Grasp. Let's start off with... A, if we do a Splinter Blast, it will render out his armor. Get rid of their armor, which is good. Um, you can get to cover as much as it is. Suit him. We swap weapons. You can kill that one. There's no way for us to get through to the little critter this turn, unfortunately. But we can kill that one off. Because even with all his movement, yeah, he can't we can't get through.
He's threaded some armor. Big guy's coming up. Took an armor hit. Three turns left. Okay. So. Laddie. You take care of that one. Okay. Let's get her up here. We will infuse the discus. Dodged. Okay. That's not great. Who can they hit? Hit this guy and kill it. We'll do a ton of damage to this one. Let's do a ton of damage. You move up here. That's the spawner. There's the wee creature. Fire axe. I don't need another spear. I like the axe I have, so I'm going to go with XP. Run free. In hindsight, I probably should have sent her, because then she would have got... Um, Yeah, I should have sent her, because then she could have unlocked the next tier of Magical Axe. But that's my bad. Okay. This is going to hurt. Because his arm is getting shredded, so I'm going to have to do Tinkerer. Because he's got to do flame. Okay, so we go Tinkerer. Get that back. You're going to go here. And you're going to Dread Harvest this person. I wish it could increase your health. That would be nice. Now we've got a Soul Strike because this one has no armor on it. Swap weapons. Take it out. Right. Another fire spitter. It blocked. Okay. You're going for this guy. Yeah, I took an armor. Okay. Infuse. Oh, she's still got the discus ability up, so let's... I dodged. Right, get rid of that. You're going to rush up here. Dodged again, high dot. Great, okay, so you get here. Smack it with the axe. You get here. Punch it, please. Render its armor. You can just see how much armor these things have. It's obscene. Right. You get here. And shoot this one, please. Dodged. Really? That's gonna suck. Well, let's sackle it so it can't move. I don't think I'll be able to get a shot off. No. No, oh, we might be able to. There we go. Lucky shot. Accuracy. 
Very nice. Um, get her up. They get extra health. My goodness, that's bad. Okay. Um, we're going to capture quickly. Yeah, we're going to cancel the, that legacy, though, or that calamity. The thing is, e like these three are just going to give them cards, which I don't want to have. We could do the Gorgons, but it's a long way to go for not a lot of stuff. It's going to be what, one magical item. Searching through the wreckage. Some supplies. Um, melee accuracy, range accuracy. They've got everything they need, so it goes to him. Um, we'll chuck people in here to help with the pass. And I want to get the pass done before the video ends. Because then all we have to do is the final boss fight, which takes a long time. The final boss fight takes ages. Um, I suppose we might have been able to cross from this little land bridge here. Um, in hindsight, we probably could have. Ah, well, my bad. I didn't see that little connection point. I thought it was isolated. Anyway... I'm not going to do these three here. No point. Could do the the gorgons. That might be useful. Um, but I'm happy with where we are right now. Next episode, we'll go across. At, we'll go across the mountain range and deal with the source of the infection. It's a shame that none of my guy, like none of my guys and girls, leveled up. Um, they were so close to actually. I mean, to be honest, they're so close to levering up. Hold on, let's see. How close is he to levering up? I can't remember how much the XP they get per mission. It's tempting, though. Level 2, get them both up to... The problem is, the longer I take, the more XP, this, the more calamities are going to come. And I don't want to give them any more cards, and so the only place I could do is here, which is the Gorgons, and it's not worth it. I don't think I get enough experience for clearing them out. So we'll just have to take this territory. And I've got. I'm going to take her, her, him, and these two. I don't need him to be honest. Well, I might need. The thing is that her attacks are really useful for, to getting past, wards, and a lot of these things, have increased warding. But a lot of the stuff that gets spawned out by the spawners doesn't. So she's very useful for clearing out spawned enemies. He's not too bad, because he's both range and melee. Um, but like I said, you get you get a chance to upgrade, so I might upgrade her gear a bit more. Um, but yeah, we're going to be running with these, these ones here. These four, three warriors, uh, are a, a ranger and a uh, mage. Um, that looks like a relatively good combo. He can heal some armor. She, they've all got a lot of armor, a lot of great weapons, a lot of raw damage output. Um, so yeah, we'll, so we'll see what happens in the next episode, folks. But if you've liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. My name is Cornus Knight, and you can follow me on Twitter or on Steam, or leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll get back in contact with you. And I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.